This video provides instructions for using privacy settings on Skype. The narration is mirrored by a visual demonstration that shows the actions required to achieve this. With Skype, you can communicate with friends and family across the globe as intimately as if they're with you in person. But it's also possible for people you don't want contacting you to get in touch through Skype. Control who can contact you through Skype by using Skype's privacy settings. Open Preferences from Skype in the menu bar. We're showing you how to do this on a Mac, but it might look a little different on Windows. Select Privacy. Configure your privacy settings to the level that is appropriate for you. We recommend you restrict contact from others to people in my contact list only. We also recommend that you check the Allow Direct Connections to My Contacts Only option under Advanced. This prevents your IP address and potentially your location from being disclosed to people who aren't your contacts. You can also block contacts on Skype. To block someone on Skype, open Contacts. Select the contact you want to block and right-click to open the menu. Select Block this person. Select Block to delete the person from your contacts list and to prevent them from contacting you through Skype. You also have the option to report abuse if this is the reason why you're blocking the person. If you're very conscious of your privacy, think about using Skype through a virtual private network. To find out more, search Skype VPN. Find out more at eSafety for Women. The video concludes with an end credit of the Australian Government crest. Alongside the title, Office of the Children's eSafety Commissioner, the brand mark for the program, eSafety for Women, and the URL, www.esafety.gov.au forward slash women.